dear sisters in the first reading we hear in the book of revelation i john looked and behold i heard a voice which i heard speaking to me like a trumpet and it goes on maybe because john is saying and it is written in the bible we believe but if somebody comes and says that i heard god's voice they say is it okay our expressions will be changed not necessary that uh, we are like we don't have faith or we don't believe and all but uh, we do exactly what bible says because bible also says uh, uh, sent uh, all rights like uh, test everything and take what is good right so we test not immediately simply somebody coming and saying like uh, i heard god's voice we will not simply believe at least in the catholic church it is like that and church takes time testing waiting and after that only it will confirm and those people we acclaim as saints with a long process not simply just like i heard a voice then okay and and it's it's the same case with the congregation founders also they have inspiration and it is not so easy okay god spoke them that to find a congregation it just didn't happen in one day saint joseph of annecy like that long process maybe they have gone and, and uh, but inspiration was there god has spoken but things has to take time and uh, i also heard a voice at uh, one point of time i heard a voice and first of all it's not that others are not believing i myself was not believing <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not that i tell other people i said because it is not possible how how like how we can hear right like saints and okay in the bible that is okay but how we can hear the voice right and uh, that voice was not like a very pleasant voice at least that is my experience for example like when we see jesus like now how my bass voice right like in the beginning my voice is more bass now i adjust a little more treble right god comes my son like that then we feel okay oh god is speaking but this is directly fighting one voice is shouting scolding and like arguing fighting with me like that is like a very thing and uh, uh, my whole kind of a it's a spiritual life or vocation life or whatever ministry <coughs> it is kind of a <coughs> corner experience for me like that voice was questioning me and uh, asking me just like in the gospel like we see like uh, this landlord has given talents and in this translation we heard minas money or like something of worth of value ten talents <clears throat> five talents one talent and after that he comes and asks i have given what about that he is asking the count so when i had this experience around june or july uh 2000 should be 6 2006 around 16 years so my voice is like uh, i heard a voice it says i have given you talents then i responded yes you have given me talents and i am using it fruitfully this was my response without knowing what is happening i was in my house 
I was staying in a flat in the fourth floor and uh, I was the situation was I was very depressed some emotional drama then I was sitting in prayer looking at to the sacred heart picture of Jesus and I was arguing why things are not happening in my life so that was the context and uh, during that context I hear this voice I have given you a lot of talents I didn't say Lord God and all like that just directly went into the conversation yes you have given me a lot of talents and I am using it fruitfully then this voice asked me why are you not doing for one name it sounds like an organization name one organization name which I belong I didn't understand what what exactly uh, it says Telugu Jesus used to say Enduku Chayet Lev Enduku Chayet Lev means like Andar Ekar Chalaman Telugu Lonnar but uh, who doesn't know what is that meaning, what I said, what I pronounced in one certain language? Why are you not doing for a certain organization? But that could be interpreted like that. Induku Chayet Ledu and a Telugu word. It could be interpreted. But Induku Chayet Ledu is not a complete sentence. What you should do also should be clear. Induku Pani Chayet Ledu. Means like, why are you not working? Or something else. But in the case or means like there should be already a word which is already told to you. If it is already told to you, then it's a continuation. But there was nothing like that before. So I, I started asking this voice, can you repeat? Then I understood with whom I am speaking, first of all what is this voice and then things that voice stopped maybe at that moment maybe my faith background or maybe the where I was brought up all the Catholic education and the formation in the parish in the home and maybe the subsidiarity uh, subsequent uh, formation programs uh, in the charismatic renewal all those maybe those experience led me to believe and uh, convince myself at that moment that God spoke to me and there was no second thought for that it is very I was very sure that God spoke to me and my reaction was not like I was so joyful I was afraid first of all I was it's like in a shock how come God speaks and God is not speaking like very happy happily he is just like asking he is asking the account I have given you talents five talents ten talents one talent what you have done with that and in the gospel we see ten talents multiplied ten five talents multiplied five one talent he is arguing that I, you are a severe person and all so exactly something like that, uh, he is very upset, the person who is speaking to me, the voice. It looks like uh, he is very upset. I have given you a lot. I don't know what, how many. I have given you a lot of talents or I have given you many talents. It's plural. Jesus, you think you are And it stops there. Then, maybe my reaction on that night was like, sorry, 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 Lord, sorry, Lord. Then after 20 minutes of telling, sorry, Lord, sorry, Lord, I started telling, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Then I slept. That was the reaction. Then the next day onwards, I was thinking, maybe God is asking me to use my talents. Then things goes ahead. And uh, I was involved in many activities. Then eventually it led me to go to Thailand. Then after one year of uh, lay volunteership, entering into the seminary, becoming a priest. 
and so on. So, what I want to say with all these things, God speaks to us even now, if we are attentive. Not necessary that God should come like this voice. I had only three times like that. Then maybe last year on 8th of uh, December, I heard something. Apart from that, I never had anything and I don't want also, first of all. Because that is another complicated. Even if you tell also, it will people will unnecessary uh, things. But I asked God speak to my superiors and whatever you want me to do, let them tell and I will do it. That is easy thing, right? I obey like God's will. Rather than you come and tell, then you have to go behind them and you have to convince them. God told me all these things, right? But easy thing is like you speak to them, whatever, I will obey like that. I was also do, I was doing all those things. But what is important, God has given us talents, each one of us, gifts to each one of us. For, for example, life itself is a gift. Not necessary we should be so capable or something like that. To live that life fruitfully itself is a big thing. What you are doing with your life, God is asking us. I have given you. And along with that, God has multiplied each one of us in different, different ways. It could be different responsibilities God has interested, or it is different uh, charisms God has gifted us, gifts, talents. And God wants us to use it for others. Unless we do for the good of others. Because everything given to us as a gift to share with others. If you are not sharing, one day God will ask us like this, what you have done. 